welcome everybody. This is going to be a really exciting day today. Um, we have Andreas here, and he's arranging flowers, and we're going to talk to him in a minute. Um, I wanted to um, uh, just say uh, thank you to everybody who watched the show last week with Wayne. And hi, Wayne, I know you're watching. Um, we had a wonderful, wonderful show, and we got to um, meet a lot of people around the world on that show, so I really appreciate the, the whole program. Um, so, uh, Andreas is um, with OMG Florist, and uh, OMG is, is the main word, oh my God, his work is just amazing. So I'd like to say hello to him while he's working in the back. Can we tune on him? There he is. Say hi. Hi. How you guys doing? <laughs> so <laughs> on, he is working on an arrangement that is going to re have the colors of the, of the lady that I have here. So Mar her name is Olivia or Marion, depending on who's talking to her. Okay, so while he's working, I'm going to talk about um, uh, flowers, for, for, for example. So, you know, they have major um, effects on people. And you know when you get some flowers delivered to you, it just brightens up your day. And the, f the effects of of the arrangements and the reason and all that stuff is very emotional. And um, the, the study, there's a study that shows that the colors um, that, that the florist will do for certain occasions, for example, you know, red for Valentine's Day and maybe some green carnations for St. Patty's Day or if you're doing a funeral, I think the, the main colors from what I understand is um, is yellow and, and purple, and I think that brings um, th that just brings uh, the colors for warmth and and love and and going through like condolence times. Um, and another thing that the flowers smell so beautiful and it affects your senses. And there's just so many um, types of arrangements that that um, Andreas does that will just blow you away. So we're gonna show some in the next part of the show. But meanwhile, I wanna just talk about um, the flowers that I have behind me, since we're flowers. Um, they are mosaics, and what I did is I cut up a bunch of um, paintings that I think I've, I've told you about, um, original designs that I had stored, and I knew that they weren't gonna make a gallery, so I used them to create my new creations, which are mosaic tapestries. And this one, um, for example, um, behind me, the, uh, the, you know, I have to tell you that I don't know any artist or any, anybody, really, that's never drawn a flower in their, that's, oh, that everybody has drawn flowers in their life, no matter for what reason, you don't know. It's just you're doodling, you do a flower. Flowers are just such a natural thing. And, and that's why I say, no matter what kind of artist is out there, you, they have all done some kind of floral arrangement in some way. So it was very easy for me to come up with this concept. And I, my head is in front of the vase, and there's a little stand there. Whoops, let's see if we can see. Yeah, there we go. And, um, and I love creating this. And I, and I used the, um, the silver as the vase. And this one I completely, I think it was the second painting that I did that I completely covered from top to bottom. And uh, a lot of times I'll paint around it, but this one's totally mosaics. And then this week, because um, I like to do something for the show, I had a, a piece of plexiglass. And <clears throat> so I, I made this painting here. Um, and it's, it's like doing one of my glass pieces, which is just a little ref reflection there. Um, Let's see, it. there we go. And um, so I did the vase, and of course you're doing it um, backwards, like on glass, so everything is reversed. So you know you have to um, figure out how, what's gonna go first. So if you wanted to put the little dots on the flowers, you gotta make sure that you do that first, um, or it's because everything that comes up is whatever you put in first. So of course, um, the stems and everything, you know, sort of hide behind, but you can see them in here a little bit. So that was my, my weekly um, uh, initiative to, oops, I lost my pillow, um, to sort of create something for today. Um, and uh, so we're going to go back and look and see what Andreas is doing right now. Andreas, there he is. 
So he's, uh, you, have, you want to talk about anything while you're doing this? So the whole concept behind this is I'm going to make something that's going to kind of look like you paint. So obviously it's not going to be the face. That will take a lot more work, but we're going to use the colors to look, make something that when you look at it, it resembles the painting. So right now I'm just using uh, pink hydrangeas, blue hydrangeas, roses. I'm going to be using um, hypericums. I'm going to be using orchids, cymbidium orchids, dendrobium orchids, and a couple different types of greens. And hopefully by the time I'm done, it's going to look like you're painting. That would be wonderful. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, yeah, so you're going to drape it down a little bit. Yeah, okay. I can't wait to see you finish this. Um, so uh, let, while I have a, um, a minute, uh, let's, let's talk about um, the, um, the gallery in here because um, we, we have so many different paintings and three different artists in here. And, um, and now that everybody's starting to get their COVID shots, we're hoping that we can invite a lot of people in here to see the studio and see the paintings on the walls because the the effect in here is just wonderful um, and there's such creativity in here we have uh, we have um, what do you call these guys Don <laughs> what do you call these guys robots we have tons of robots um, and we have uh, amazing pencil drawings and of course I have a lot of mosaics and I also have a lot of uh, very big paintings that we have that we take down and put up um, and uh, we, I really enjoy uh, working from the studio, and, and um, this has just been a, a, a wonderful um, week as well. Um, yesterday, I, I had an opportunity to be on um, the show here um, with a good friend, Guy LaFerrera, and we had a wonderful show with him, and he's got a wonderful men's store in town. Um, and um, next week, we have a real exciting week coming also. We are going to have John Douglas, and I'm going to show some pictures of his, his, um, his promo at, at the end of the show and remind you the date and the time. And uh, let's see, we are getting closer to this wonderful arrangement. I, I can pop up a couple of things, Andreas, if you want. Um, I, I could put up uh, one thing that the first painting that, that we have on our screen, um, can you t pop that up, Vinny, for me, the one with... Um, the, bra the white flowers, because I wanted to talk about that one. Okay, maybe, oh, there it is. Okay, so when I was at uh, the last gallery that I was showing in, uh, they, I had a, a party, and I had a lot of people come to the show, and I asked Andreas to, um, to do something that resembled the painting that you see, um, and we also had, if you can see on the bottom, there's a lot of mugs, and the, and the mugs have the same picture of the flowers. But the, th the thing that, um, that stands out most are the two arrangements. So the little red arrangement is, was on all the different tables, and the big one, which is just glorious, had all the colors that fit into my theme. And I mean, that, that makes the whole presentation. I mean, you, if you have somebody that's as artistic as he is, you can do anything. So I, I thought that would be um, something that I'd like to show you. And then we will uh, move into some other photos that we've worked together on. And we'll be back in a few minutes to talk about that and have a little commercial. And then Andreas should be almost close to where we need to be. And we'll discuss some of his photos and his work. So I will be right back. So don't go anywhere. See you in a few minutes.
Welcome back. Um, we are um, ready to watch. Uh, we're going to do a double camera, and I wanted to watch uh, Andreas finish. And uh, I just want to mention that it's OMG Flores Boutique, and he's in Boynton Beach. Flower Boutique, I'm sorry. Yes, <laughs> I don't want to mess that one up. And uh, we're going to show a couple of um, photographs of his work while he's continuing working. So, um, Vinny, if you could put up the next one. Okay. All right. Look, this is this is one of my very favorites. Oh yeah. So, we we decided to that we were going to do a show that would um, express the paintings into his flowers and his flowers into his paintings. So, as you can see, which is a gorgeous picture of the man there. <laughs> Um, the the art behind is so such so resembles what he had done um, that it just blew us all away. Um, uh, there's some more another picture. We have a couple more to show you. Are they moving them on back there? There we go. Okay, so th that is two arrangements. As you can see, one is a tall one and one is stretched out, which is really really beautiful. Okay, let's move to the next one. And that's a little closer, and um, because the paintings had a very um, theatrical feel to it, we, we put the, the face, the theatrical face in there, which is really, really cool. Okay, and I think we have another one of this. Okay, well, so we're back to, to that one. But boy, is this work gorgeous, guys. Um, there, everybody is, is looking at the work that he's doing back there, and uh, maybe we could put, flip the camera now to back to him. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera back, guys. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> We're having fun here. Oh, there he is. Okay, it's coming along. And uh, Andres, do you think you'll be able to bring it up here when you're done? Because then we can speak and talk about it. And I've got a little table waiting for it to go. Oh, it's beautiful. Eight minutes or so. Okay, so you want to um, tell us about how you, um, if you can talk and, and yeah, work. Absolutely. I know you could do two things at one time. Um, and tell us how you started. How did you get into this? So about 10, 12 years ago, I started selling flowers out of the, van, uh, the back of my minivan. So I will go into different places like hair salons, car dealerships, and, um, and uh, doctor offices. And I used to sell the doses about like 10, 10 to $12. And I got pretty good at it. So, <laughs> so um, some of my customers will reach out to me and ask me if I could do an arrangement for their anniversary. And I will say, I never say no. I always say yes and I will figure out a way to do it. And then I started doing weddings out of the back of my parents' house. Oh, wow. Uh, my first wedding was in South Beach at the Riley Hotel, and it was at, like 200 people. Never done a wedding before. I told the bride that I'd done multiple weddings, 
and and it was a total success. We wow. killed it. That's why you <laughs> say OMG. OMG, and then <laughs> and now we I've been I got I got the store about four years ago, and and it's been great. I've been doing really good. Everything has been good so far, and here we are, twelve years later. Twelve years later, and designing like a major artist as you are. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, that's really coming along beautifully. So, um, you know, flowers really, really trigger feelings of happiness and joy, like I said before. Absolutely. And it, it is, um, when, when I get an arrangement, and, and most all the time, they're coming from Andreas to my house, from my children or whomever, and I, I just go crazy when I see what he does. So, so from, from my anniversary uh, last month, um, I got this magnificent arrangement and I was able to it was so big that I broke it up in pieces and I was putting flowers everywhere because they was they were just such gorgeous flowers and in one little spot they they weren't doing it justice but even you know it didn't matter when I took them out because there's still so many left he is very very generous with his work um, and I advise anybody that's looking for something to give him a call because um, for years now I, I just adored his work and as I said, we tried to do this project together. It didn't go off the ground at the time, um, but we probably will end up doing it at some point because the, between the art and the flowers, um, you know, both, these, both of these things are meant to be together because it's full of love and happiness, and I love flowers. My, my husband used to say, what do I need to buy you flowers for? They just die, but women know better. We know that it's not the fact that they're going to die one day, so are the husbands. No, I'm just teasing. Um, <laughs> but the flowers are very meaningful, and um, I, it's just, it's just it's close to my heart. So I really appreciate the fact that somebody sends me flowers. Thanks, Andreas. <laughs> oh, wow, he's really coming along there. Wow, that's beautiful. So Dong is here today, uh, sitting, listening to my show, and I appreciate that. There she goes, and I thought I could flash things I haven't and put that magnificent arrangement together. I'm lucky if I can get a dozen roses from Publix and make them look decent in a vase. No. And no. he's done this. <laughs> well, so let me ask you: Can be? Will you just do one arrangement for people? Of course, yeah. So like most of our clients, they order for birthdays, anniversaries, things of that nature. And then once they see what we do, then they will hire us for like big events, uh, restaurants, weddings, you name it. But yeah. our daily thing is doing arrangements for people. Right. So yes, absolutely. And you'll deliver any, well, how far do you deliver? So we, we deliver in all Palm Beach County. Wow. From Boca Raton all the way to Palm Beach Gardens. But we also go to Broward and Miami, depending on how big the arrangement is or, or the size of the event. So we don't mind driving. <laughs> this is yeah. absolutely spectacular. And he's done this in 30 minutes. It More like 15. Yeah. I know. <laughs> and the variety of flowers. You don't see anything like this. You know, you order regular florists, you get a dozen this, or you get hydrangeas and a few roses. I mean, nothing. Wait. I don't know what those yellow looks like peacock feathers are but Those wow are orchids. orchids yeah and he goes down to miami to pick his flowers and um so he's always got unusual things because i guess the market is just amazing oh we, all, we have everything uh honestly we we have peonies tulips cymbidium orchids dendrobium orchids hydrangeas in every color blue white pink green uh roses in every color you could think of um succulents you name it, we, I have it. Like, you just gotta... And how long will an arrangement like this last? This, I always tell you, it should last you at least, guarantee you a week, right? But, but if it's nice and cool, it should last you about two weeks. And what about changing water? There's no way to change water in this. Uh, this one is tough. So what you do is you, you could add uh, cold water every other day. Just add it. Just add our ice cubes. Cause oh, the ice cubes work, the yeah. Cold I water, do that with my orchids. The cold water will preserve the flowers better. Interesting. So, because you, I mean, you think, I'm just speechless how magnificent that is. 
and that they last. And you're right, Amy, fresh flowers. Did he do your arrangement for your anniversary? Yeah. I saw those flowers and oh, I yeah, thought, I wow. Put, I did put On them on her birthdays too. They're yeah, magnificent. Yeah, my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> From the you last know, like five years. She's a smart lady. She orders what she loves. Uh, my children are smarter. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really wonderful. Um, so if, have you slowed down or picked up with the um, COVID? So during COVID, yeah. we actually, we, we got bigger. That's we, what we, I thought. So yeah, it's been unfortunate for a lot of people, but in my case, my business grew. It got better. Um, and here we are. I mean, we're, we're busy. Yeah, Mother's well, Day you know, was the biggest. The, uh, oh, last, was, Mother's Day last year during COVID was my, my biggest by far. Right. And I'm thinking this year it's going to get bigger. Well, yeah, and your events are going to pop back. Yes, I've already done a few weddings this year. Okay, good. Uh, I should be done in the next, like, two minutes over here or one minute. Why do you think business got better? Well, the area that I'm, I'm in, like South, like Florida, there's a lot of people that are retired. And most of the people, their, their families live in other states. So if you can see them, what do you do? You send them flowers. So um, a, lot of my, a lot of people reach out to us from California, Pennsylvania, um, New York, and they will send flowers to their mothers down yeah. here. Wonderful, so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and then once a customer, uh, they, they, they try us for the first time, they come with us, they usually like our work and they stay with us, you know? So it's a matter of getting the name out there and I only been in the business for four years, you know? So I'm competing with people that have been in the business for 30, 40 years, so. And you are blooming. <laughs> so we are doing a pretty good job at it. Yeah, and you I sure think are. I am done. Okay, so bring it on up Let's and uh, we'll get the camera on you up here. Oh, you want me to bring it up there? Sure, yeah. Okay. It is heavy. Ready to see? Yep. That's okay. We're live here, having fun. <laughs> okay, look at that. So, you want to explain this one without the coffee cup? Yeah, turn the mic on. Oh, oh, your mic. Okay. Just plug it on top of your, yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. So hopefully it resembles the, the picture, right? The painting. Actually, yeah, actually both of them. <laughs> <laughs> actually, really, both of them. That's absolutely gorgeous. So we have um, orchids and orchids. So we have uh, a couple different types of orchids. We got cymbidium orchids, cymbidium orchids, uh, dendrobium orchids. We got uh, pink hydrangeas, blue hydrangeas. Um, we have uh, roses over here and a couple of leaves it gives it like texture and, and design you know so that's it wow pretty much. beautiful and the colors i try to oh, I love use the same colors as the painting yeah. yellow green blue pink you did a marvelous the softness job. of her face you know so <laughs> really and like my flower outfit yes <laughs> <laughs> so, that's so yeah really beautiful thank you so much for so, doing yeah. that so again, it's so O M G Flower, Flower Boutique. Boutique, and he's in Boynton Beach. But we deliver from Miami. I always say we, we go from Miami to West Palm Beach and everything in between. Everything in between. Yes. Um, our phone number is 561-806-5818. And you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram, OMG Flower Boutique. That's it. And you post a lot, which is great. So we you do. can see the different arrangements that you're If you go on out. my Instagram, you yeah. see pretty much. Every day I'm on Every day, one. yeah. That's wonderful. Like so really, really tells every, this whole story. Yeah. Oh, there you are. You got your number. I like it everything. when I get stuff like this because it, it's. It's uh, creative. That's, it's creative, yeah. That's so why we're talking about art. <laughs> it's different. It, it gets me inspired and, and, and I come up with a new concept, new design, and then I put it on the website, you know? That's, yeah. Yeah, I hope you take some good pictures. Well, we're this taking one, some good sure. pictures of this. Plus, I love it. Plus, we'll have a nice picture of uh, us up with his arrangement um, on uh, on the RLR Media coming up. So, because we when we get somebody on our show that we really think is wonderful, thank we you. make sure everybody else understands that how wonderful your I work appreciate is. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank really. you. Thank it's, you. And there's been a lot of fun. Um, so, is there anything? Um, no, yeah. Call like us for Mother's Day. It's coming oh, up. Oh yeah, Mother's it's, Day. It's coming up in the next um, in the next two months. Okay. So. Do you do anything for St. Patrick's Day? Not really. <laughs> Not really, but I do parties. So if people are having a party for St. Patrick's Day and they, they hire me to do something with green and white, 
then, yeah, then absolutely, yeah. You yeah. guys call them. Please call us. Yeah, awesome. That'd but Mother's Day is coming up. Give us a call or go directly on the website, which is www.omgflowerboutique.com. And we also have Easter. Eastern, yeah. And uh, Passover. We have a lot of holidays that you need flowers. Absolutely. And, and make sure your dining room table is full of flowers for every holiday that you're doing. <laughs> because Everything. Birthdays, flowers, anniversaries. Like I said, you name it. Flowers are everything. Yeah. And, and boy, does it smell beautiful. You do all the price ones? Yeah, everything. Our minimum order for delivery is $70, and we do charge $15 for delivery. And then we go all the way up to $500 on the website. But we do like i just got hired to do a couple of numbers we do numbers and letters and each one oh, is we have more pictures yeah oh each. okay yeah can you send the, the other two pictures up perfect speaking of numbers that's something i did yesterday actually with some flowers for our clients oh that's beautiful very nice it's got purple kale sunflowers hydrangeas roses oh, and orchids kale. yeah oh is that smart i, I don't really like to eat it so maybe i'll start using it in a flower <laughs> arrangement <laughs> Okay, and there's another one coming. This one's really cool. Is that okay? Ah. So that number, that was the first time I ever done that. Um, With a number. A, a lady from New York reached out to me. She wanted to send flowers uh, to her mother-in-law in Singer Island. And she asked me if I could do it. And I said, yes, of course, even though I never done it before. Of course. And it came out great. Um, it's 30 inches tall, so two and a half feet. Took me about eight hours to make. Really? Yeah. It was my first time, so I'm guessing about five and a half next time. So how do you do the number? Do you do it in wire? Or? So for the number, I actually had to go to Home Depot and I buy uh, the wood. I use, I'll use wood. Uh, it was one by two, mm -hmm. and and I have to cut it and make the number 70, and then I, I, I bought a drill and I, I put a couple of clamps and a couple of things, and it's super sturdy. It mm -hmm. was so strong. that That was the best part about it. Just being able to transport that thing, yeah, it felt amazing because it wasn't moving, yeah, it wasn't going anywhere. Yeah, it's like delivering a cake and it pulls over. Yes, and then once <laughs> once I finish the structure, what I do is I put the Oasis foam, and I tape it all the way around. Okay. And then as you could, so I start, it stays moist. Stay exactly, yeah. And then I started using all those premium flowers that you see there, Reg, uh, three different colors on the roses. That's a lot of flowers. Spray roses, in medium orchids, yeah. Wow. And then I glued the grass at the bottom and in the back, and and it came out amazing. I was really happy with it. And after that, I uh, I just hired for four different events with the numbers and letters. Oh my goodness! So and what if you did wire? You, ever, you think that's too hard to do a, a number in, a, in wire? No, and I could do anything. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, actually, you you yeah, tell it, me it what is that you want. It would probably be lighter than heavier. It, yeah. Yeah, but the the way. The this was so good because it was so sturdy, and and you know that it's not gonna break. It's not gonna fall apart. And it's gonna stay like that, you know. It, it I'm was, so glad it was awesome. we uh, we got this up. So um, I, I want to say thank you to you so much for doing this, and thank I can't you. wait to do another project together. Absolutely, I anything. think it'd be so much fun. Anytime. And also, um, if you could just put, actually, yeah, if you could put the uh, last uh, picture up that we have. Okay, so um, and one more. So this is uh, John Douglas, who's going to be at the Opal um, a Hotel in in. Um, Delray Beach on the 25th to the 28th. And prior to that, I am so lucky to have John Douglas uh, coming to um, my show. And we're going to talk about his amazing art. As you can see, that's one of his paintings. Wow. Um, and it's going to be very, very exciting. And I look forward to seeing you next Thursday instead of Wednesday. And uh, we're going to rock. So I'll see you later. And thank you so much. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate OMG. it. Flower Boutique. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>